Yeah, all right. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, just got some cool music playing. I don't know how well you can hear it, but probably not very well. But Bethesda Conference. Bethesda, did you watch it? Did you see it? Did you miss it? Are you going to try to find a video? It's probably going to be online. Actually, I believe Bethesda does have the whole conference from the pre-show thing with Adam Sessler and some girl I didn't really know. I, You know, I didn't know her from before or anything. Um, but... Yeah, uh, so there was a pre-show thing. They were talking about it. They went around, they interviewed people outside the show and all that kind of stuff before they went in and before the show started. So the, the whole thing, like it's two and a half hours, almost two and a half hours. You can check it out um, and see the presentation. But you don't have to because I'm here to talk to you about it. Uh, mostly a couple of things. The two things, my I'm super excited. I can't believe it. I it. So <laughs> the first thing they showed was Doom, but I'm going to first talk about Fallout. Um, now these are two games that I was not planning, I, I could not have expected to be uh, hyped or excited about these and then I was watching that and I watched it just, just to, to keep up with the gaming news to, to, to offer you know information for um, my buddies, you people, who, who like to read my stuff or watch my videos and stuff like that. So. I definitely wanted to get some information for you, you know, for, especially for because I know not everybody can always make it to the streams or the videos, uh, you know, right away and stuff like that. It was a it was a live event and all that kind of stuff, you know. Of course, it's recorded. Anyway, so Fallout 4, um, uh, just I can't believe I'm so excited. Okay, so now I never really got into Fallout games before. I never played them. I played about an hour of New Vegas, and it wasn't I didn't like not like it or anything. It wasn't that I didn't like it, and that's why I didn't keep playing. It was just um, so many games that I have to play that I really want to play. It just didn't, it didn't become a priority. You know, I liked it and I was like, hmm, it feels like Borderlands, you know, and that's not a put down. Like I, you know, I like those games. It's just, they're not like at the top of my list to rush through and play and stuff like that. You know, I, I love, I can say too, like I can say I love these games, but I don't love them enough to play straight through. Like from when I, you know, they don't suck me in. Um, and especially that it's really rare nowadays since I'm way too busy to get sucked in. It's, it's, it's extremely rare. Um, and it sucks. Like I miss the days where I could just immerse myself into these games for way longer and put, you know, and just, and it sucks. Um, so no, I'm actually, yeah, I'm really surprised. I'm excited for Fallout. Uh, you know, when the trailer first went live, they they first announced Fallout 4 and everyone was like, oh my gosh, you know, Fallout 4, the trailer, be watching and then everybody's hyped up. And I was like, I didn't even, I, I, you know, I had not watched the trailer for it. I didn't, I was just like, eh, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't play the other Fallout games. So I wasn't, it wasn't like a, a sequel I was looking forward to or anything. So I was like, ah, I'll let people enjoy that. That's cool. You know, nothing against the game, nothing against the game at all. But, you know, I just wasn't hyped up like everybody else. But now I am. Oh my gosh. After I watched that presentation, now I'm excited. I am so hyped. I, I like. I was like, holy crap. So let's see. I do have a bunch of notes. I wrote an article about this. This is how excited I am for this game. Like, I wrote an article. I was like, I need to tell people why. You know, like, I mean, this just looks so cool. So um, the character creation that they did in the presentation, they showed off the character creation. And it was neat. It was like the opening cinematic kind of opens up, and then it comes into this this scene where there's a, a dude and a girl. They're in the, the bathroom, and they're looking in the mirror. And they're talking to each other, and then all of a sudden, it just straight into character customization. It doesn't. There was no loading, no nothing like that. It was just straight into character customization. And as you 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 know customize the face and stuff, the characters would talk to each other. Like they, they were changing the beard and whatever. And then you know the, as the beard was getting changed, the guy would be like, "So what do you think, beard or no beard?" You know. And I was actually asking the woman that was standing next to him. It was pretty cool. Um, stuff like that. So they interact with each other, and then they switch it over to the females, and she came up to the front, and they would just interact with each other when they were, you know. <laughs> doing the customization it was freaking cool that was really neat um let's see oh and an interesting thing uh when you customize you, you customize both if you customize both characters i don't think you have to but what they said was it, in the process of character customization because uh, you pick you play as one you don't play as them both but as you if you do the character creation thing you have a baby and the baby is actually supposed to represent what those two characters would look like you know if they had a baby and stuff so not a, like like not i mean i don't know how important a role that plays i doubt any but just the fact that they do it is kind of cool you know it's kind of neat um the story now I, I never got into stories like i said in the games um the story's gonna be cool it's gonna start before the actual first fallout apparently like the story wise it's gonna they're gonna have a little bit about the original fallout I'm, I'm guessing, I'm, I mean, I don't know why else they would say it like that, you know, it was just the way it was presented, it sounded like we're going back to the beginning, but that's just to introduce the story, 
the game itself as your main character is actually waking up 200 hour, 200 years after the fallout, after the nuke, after the planet gets you know messed up. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, 200 years? Damn, dude. Like, what the hell? Um, so that's pretty cool. Let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, so I have a bunch of notes on this is what I was writing about. Um, so a lot of a lot of new features. I, the customization seemed really cool. They were they were showing off the building, like uh, building like houses and buildings and whatever, and you, you're moving your furniture and customizing your your home, sort of. But you, I, I'm pretty sure they said you could build one, more than one building. Like you can make different buildings in different places and stuff. And um, what what I thought was cool about it was not only is it completely optional, they're not going to make you do it, which I hate when games do that. They force you through the you know that kind of thing because it's just not my kind of thing like I don't want to have to build stuff like I want to just play and then you get stuck on those tutorials where you know you have to build this you have to build this you have to collect that to build this and I'm just like okay well I don't want to play this so click you know close that sucker off but this one's gonna be completely optional uh, and it looks like it's gonna be really easy as well like uh, the, just the way they showed it now it's, it's hard to describe it was just if I think it's easy <laughs> it's probably gonna be super easy because I was watching them do it. They were just showing the process of how you build stuff, and then, and um, pretty much everything in the world is going to be usable. So you know, it's all lootable ish, ish. You know, like um, and they each have different different um, purposes, uh, and you do have to combine different elements, different pieces, to different objects uh, to create one specific thing. But what they did there was they made it. They made they offered options. So if you want to create, just for example, like one specific gun, there are four different ways that you can create it um, with the different objects. So one of them is with duct tape and scissors. Another is with like a can of soup and some other, you know, just just for example, I didn't, as those aren't actually from what's in the game or anything, but just as an example, there are different ways to create one thing. Um, so, and of course, you know, of course you, I mean, I don't know how much inventory space they're going to limit people to. Um, but if you want, you just loot everything, if, depending on how much space you have, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but it just it looked really easy. It looked really cool. You can customize everything, uh, including your armor suit, which apparently, I'm, I'm assuming, wasn't an option before because everybody freaked out over that. The crowd went wild. They were like, whoa, you know, because you, you can customize your... I mean, people are used to customizing their guns, but the gun customization in Fallout 4 looked really cool. Um, and then the armor suit came up and yeah, that was like just neat stuff man and the building too Like I said the building if you build your own house or whatever it is you want to build You don't even have to think of it as your house. You can think of it as your bar, you know, you design it you get to You know put things wherever you want and stuff. So it's pretty cool. It looks really neat um, I'm telling you it just looked really easy too and I'm not a big I don't like right now I'm not a big crafter person. I don't want to build stuff I don't want to have to micromanage this and this and this and this and this and just the way it looked it looked really easy um, there is, you know, there is stuff to it. It's, there's, it's not just like, I, there is, there's people that like that kind of stuff sh will probably like it. It's just not, uh, I don't think it's going to be as advanced as some might want. I'm not sure. It just looked really easy to do and really cool. Um, so let me see what else do I have notes on here. I think that might be it pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They had, they just, it just looked really cool. Like I was surprised, um, that I was excited for it. I watched that presentation and I was just like, Whoa, you know. Um, finally, what was really cool about it was they were like, you know, they, it's like their first real presentation of the game, right? You know, they're and a lot of times when this happens, you know, they just announce a game. It's going to be, you know, it's usually, if anything, no, no less than a year away. You know, a year, two years to five years away. Still, they're like, hey, we're bringing out this game. You know, five years from now, two, three. Usually, on average, I think two to three years is. is how long a game takes after they announce it so this one they give out all this information and then they're like and you know what we know you guys have been waiting for this game for a long time so we're not going to make you wait much longer it comes out november this year and i was like what Fuck yes holy shit dude i mean that's how you do it and it was just it was so cool it was really funny i was i was just like i was cracking up because i was excited and i thought it was super cool they were like you know they just they said it perfectly it was they showed off all this cool gameplay normal stuff you know and uh, just the, the new features, they showed off some new stuff and uh, just, well, basically upgrades, you know, not exactly new features. One thing I forgot to mention was that I really like that the dialogue, when you talk to people in the game um, for questing and stuff, you can walk away. Like, you don't have to stand there and wait for them. Like, if, if you're just, like, ready to move on, you can just walk away while they're talking or whatever, you know, it's pretty funny. Um, 
so yeah no november 10th this year pretty cool um oh on top of that i uh, just just as i know just in case you want to know I, I it was free people did go crazy for it and I, like i said i'm not i didn't go i was just like mm, that's neat but i'm like but I, I was hyped the whole presentation was so great it was just it was exciting and it was fun and it was cool um so part of the collector's edition will have a pip boy um an actual like those wrist whatever the wrist freaking thing is that real a real one you get a real one with the collector's edition um and you can put your phone inside of it and there will be an app um that you don't need to use completely unnecessary but they made an app for fun to go with their pip boy thing um where you can manage your inventory and your stats for your character and stuff um for <laughs> whatever reason if you're just offline and and you have your phone on you and you're like you know what i i just thought of something i would like to do with my stats or my inventory you know you could you could do it you know it's just an option and like whatever so it's cool another thing they they have right now it's out right now falter fallout falter fallout shelter is an ios game um i don't know if they don't i don't think they said anything about android but it's ios and it's free it's from these developers of fallout 4 it's fallout shelter um and they were comparing it to games i had never really played or heard of before so <laughs> but and that's also the, the way it looked it didn't look like something i would want to play but check it out it is free they, they they these developers they said look this is a game we would want to play and we just you know it's something you know of course to hype up their game and have a little bit of fun with while you wait for a few months for the you know the official game to come out and stuff so fallout shelter completely free you can grab it right now and I'm, I'm pretty sure they have like they probably have stuff you can buy um optional you know whatever but it's free to go download it and play it and stuff <clears throat> so uh that was for the fallout 4 news really exciting um the next bit of news this was the first thing they showed was doom and doom i was watching this and i haven't i haven't been excited or thought about a doom game really in a long time i played them so long ago man just really long time ago and i didn't hate the games or anything i just wasn't hardcore into doom i was never like a major super fan or anything and i'm watching this and i'm just like oh my gosh and and the, like every like 10 to 20 seconds i was like whoa and i was like whoa and i was like whoa and i was like holy whoa you know they just and it started kind of slow of course you know they're they're demonstrating you i guess starting the game or whatever so of course they pick up the weapon, they start walking, and then they start killing enemies. Normal stuff, shooting this and that, you know, pretty pretty basic shooter stuff. And then start getting the melee stuff. And apparently, like when you when you shoot enemies and they take damage, there's a part, a point where when they reach a certain health, they'll start to flash or flash or glow or whatever. Not exactly flash, but they'll glow. They'll they'll be highlighted, and you can tell that you can run up and p perform a fatality. And the fatalities were freaking insane. Uh, the, one of them was where he, he runs up he grabs their their leg he pulls it out from under them and then smashes them in the face it's, it's freaking cool that was like not even one of the best ones uh, my favorite i think was when it was a huge demon a really big demon he rips out the heart from the chest and feeds it to him and it, it just shoves it down their throat and it's just crazy man it was so cool chainsaw the chainsaw was awesome it just chainsaw enemies straight in half just just cutting them in half like just demons in half man i was like whoa uh, there's just so many cool things man so uh it, it, i watched that video and i was just like i can't believe i'm excited for this and, and you know and, and a lot of this stuff too i was thinking this this is like bloodier than bullet storm like holy, and bullet storm I, you was not popular enough but did have a good fan base but bullet storm was bloody and awesome like just super fun like just a fun ass arcade and ridiculously gory game and this looked more gory than that and i was just like how do you get more bloody than bullet storm and there's plenty of bloody games out there you know lots of them but bullet storm was you know a little more special anyways um so no doom looks really freaking cool man on top of uh on top of all the coolness the way it looks uh the multiplayer actually seems like it would be pretty cool they uh they you know they have they allow they're gonna allow players to you know create their own maps which is nothing unusual but it's also very cool very cool uh, i think the bonus thing for me that really stood out was the fact that they said you could create your own game modes and i don't know any specifics about that exactly but if you can actually like depending on what kind of tools they give you if you can create really like actual game modes that is awesome that was really cool so they're calling it um snap map 
and it just um i don't know man i just everything about that game you gotta check out the trailer that they they put up because it actually looks really really cool and uh let me see i think one more bit of news i guess i can get a couple more but um dishonored 2 uh has been confirmed uh, looks really cool, and in the, the the reveal trailer, they actually had a female lead as the main character, um, and you know you don't see her right away, so sorry for the spoiler there. But um, what will happen is we'll be able to choose between the original character from part one and the new character who is a female. So I think that's super damn cool. Now once you start a character, um, you you won't be able to switch between them or anything. You pick a character and you play that through that character's story, um, and I don't know. I, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited that they're, they're doing a female for it. You know, it's like yes, because Dishonored One is so cool, and Dishonored Two, uh, their their trailer was all right. Um, most my my biggest excitement was was just the fact that it's Dishonored Two, and then the next was you know the female lead kind of a thing. Like I was like right on. You know, it's pretty badass. It's freaking cool. Uh, related to that, Dishonored Definitive Edition is coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, for some, if, if for any reason you haven't played Dishonored one, you should check it out. Um, it's been on. I mean, the, the original game, like Dishonored GOTY, has been on sale so many times that you get it really cheap. Um, Definitive Edition will hopefully, you know, be a, a big enough boost for you to be like, well, you know, I could pay, I could pay sixty bucks for this, but who knows? I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I would think bringing out a game like that so late and calling it a definitive edition i think any definitive edition really should be 40 bucks from the start you know i mean not charge full full price regular price and that's just what i think it's not uh, it's not because i don't think it's worth it or anything i just think that's what they should do I, you know just that makes sense to me you know lower the price man this game's been out for a while and you know whatever even you, you improve the graphics which is really cool but I, I just i don't know i don't know about charging full price for it but it just depends. It really depends. I'm, I, I definitely recommend the game. It's freaking awesome. Uh, and then we'll go with this last bit of thing. that They also showed a new, a brand new trailer of Battle Cry, which is, I believe, is their free-to-play game um, coming up. Uh, and now the beta is open worldwide for registration. Uh, originally, I think it was a Europe. I think they were saying it was Europe that, that was in the beta for now. But uh, tonight, they officially announced that uh, Battle Cry is now available for everybody around the world to sign up for the beta and to get in. Um, so you go to battlecrythegame.com. <laughs> Not battlecrygame.com, but battlecrythegame.com. Uh, and I believe that's all. So I don't know, man. I, I just had to make a video and share this stuff because I just, I just, I'm excited. I'm excited for uh, Fallout and Doom, and I completely forgot to switch to the Doom shot. Doom! When I was talking about Doom, I meant to do that, and I just forgot, and I can't do it now. Uh, I w <laughs> uh, anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Doom and Fallout 4, and have you, have you read about them? Have you, did you watch the trailers? Oh, so I'm actually, like, I really want both of these games. I seriously do. I, and, um, it's, I don't want... I, I get, it's funny because like I'm always saying how like shooters are not the top of my priority list. They're not. I, I would prefer to play like an action RPG right now or well, either 3D hack and slashy or Diablo style. You know, action RPG, either one of those, 3D-ish or the Diablo um, isometric. And um, uh, those are the games I prefer right now, faster paced um, action or something like Infamous, um, Star Wars, uh, you know, Force Unleashed, stuff like that. Like that's the kind of game I'm, I'm really into right now. Um, but I still, I love shooters, you know, I'm not against shooters, they're just not my, like, I don't usually look forward to, to shooter types of games right now, um, you know, I mean, I'm also looking forward to Black Ops 3, but only because Titanfall is so cool and Advanced Warfare is so cool, you know, but I, but it's, I'm, man, it's just weird being excited and hyped up for shooter games, um, especially, especially Fallout to me, because like I said, man, I, I never got into Fallout, and I just, now I'm like, I, I saw what they showed for 4, and I'm like, yes you know like holy crap i actually like really can't wait to play that um doesn't mean i'm gonna be pre-ordering either one of them or anything i'm I, not rich can't pre-order both of them or anything like that i might not pre-order either one of them but i will eventually have them at some point i will get both games and i'll play them um but anyways all right so thanks for joining me guys the bethesda conference was pretty cool the presentation was awesome it was fun to watch um and there was a, there was other stuff too they they showed off some new new um, I guess world world maps or whatever for Elder Scrolls Online, but I haven't really been following that. And um, 
they didn't do like a real presentation they just showed like a trailer for it and i was like all right you know <laughs> anyways i will see you guys later thanks for joining me and have a good one game on